Let's now shift attention to the top story and the politics is raging over the celebrations in Hyderabad. All our political war has broken out in Telangana with Centre and the Telangana government both marching 75 years of Hyderabad's annexation to the Indian Union while the BJP-led Centre is calling it Liberation Day from a cruel Nizam rule. The KCR government is marking it as Telangana National Integration Day in a three-day long celebration. Addressing an event in Hyderabad, Home Minister Amit Shah took a swipe at the KCR government, saying those who rule Telangana don't celebrate the day as Liberation Day only due to vote bank politics compulsions. Karnataka, Hyderabad, Karnatak, आज ही के दिन स्वतंत्र हुआ था। इसके लिए हमारे लोह पुरुष सरदार पटेल को अनेक अनेक प्रणाम करकर श्रद्धांजलि देना चाहता हूँ। क्योंकि सरदार पटेल न होते तो शायद अनेक साल और लग जाते हैदराबाद को मुक्ति दिलाने के वो सरदार पटेल ही थे। जिन्होंने निजाम की सेना और रजाकारों को पुलिस एक्शन से परास्त करकर इस समग्र प्रदेश को आजादी की सांस लेने का अधिकार दिया था। Chief Minister KCR held a parallel event to mark this day. Telangana IT Minister K T Ramarao hit back at Home Minister Amit Shah and accused the centre of trying to divide the people of Telangana. In fact, AIMIM Chief Asaduddin Uvesi also made the same charge. He said. Why call it Liberation Day? Why not Integration Day? भई आप इसको Integration Day के तौर पर क्यों नहीं मनाना चाहते? मनाइए ना सबको रखिए हम भी आते हैं हमने आने तैयार थे। आठ साल से आपकी सरकार है आप नहीं मनाते। अब इसलिए मना रहे हैं क्योंकि आइंदा साल लोकसभा एसेंबली के चुनाव हैं और बीजेपी यहाँ तीसरे नंबर की पार्टी भी नहीं बन पा रही ह� तो इसलिए आप ये कर रहे हैं अरे आप इंटीग्रेशन से आपको इंटीग्रेशन से नफरत क्यों है बताइए तेलंगाना की आवाम तो आपको रिजेक्ट कर चुकी है लेट्स ओपन दिस आप जॉइनिंग अस कृष्णा सागर राव स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ द बीजेपी रावोला श्रीधर रेड्डी इज द लीडर ऑफ द टीआरएस गुड इवनिंग जेंटलमैन मिस्टर रेड्डी लेट मी बिगिन बाय आस्किंग यू व्हाट्स रॉन्ग इन कॉलिंग इट लिबरेशन डे कम अगेन देयर वाज अ डिस्टर्बेंस कम अगेन what is wrong in calling it Liberation Day? What is wrong in call, calling it as an Integration Day? The day Telangana was integrated, Hyderabad state was integrated with Union of India. So we, our state government, Honorable Chief Minister, has taken a decision to celebrate it as Na Telangana National Integration Day. And entire Telangana, from yesterday, Celebrating in grand manner, yesterday lakhs of people in all the one-ending constituencies have come on roads, conducted huge rallies and celebrated the integration day. Today there was a grand celebration in the public gardens where our Honorable Chief Minister unfurled the flag, national flag. Then in the evening today, marking this celebration, he also has inaugurated two huge community buildings for Adivasi and Banjara communities. And he also has declared 10% reservation implementation to tribals in our state and declared opening of more residential schools for the tribal and SEs and also declared the financial assistance to the tribals to make them businessmen. This is the way Telangana celebrates a day where our state 75 years back, got integrated with the country. Now, Amit Shah Ji has come here. He just said, for vote bank politics, TRS party has not done it. Actually, it is BJP today celebrating and trying to push the history which they believe in as liberation. What's the problem? When we as a state, the elected state government has declared this as an integration day, what's the problem in celebrating? How can the national government unilaterally, without discussing with the state, declares it as a liberation day? Okay, conduct let's a get a response from uh, Krishna Sagar Rao. You were limited, limited to conduct a parade. 
because there were few arms. See, I right, think, Mr. Uh, Reddy, you made a charge. Let's hear from the other side. Yes. It is not that Sridhar Reddy ji doesn't know what was happening throughout since 2001 when TRS has been founded. KCM KCR had a different nomenclature till 2014. He is the one who said it is a liberation day, Telangana liberation day, and he questioned the incumbent Congress government that time as to why they are not celebrating. And they said, are we slaves that you're not celebrating liberation day? He questioned the governments. He fought against the governments. The minute he became the chief minister, his focus shifted to the, the electoral and minority uh, appeasement politics. And then right at 2014, he decided he doesn't have anything to do with uh, Liberation Day, nor even the Integration Day. He just kept silent and didn't want it to celebrate. So when he's talking about eight years, what did uh, central government do or BJP do? It is the state government which has to, as he rightly said, has the right and responsibility to identify a major milestone, which is the birth of the state. But he did not celebrate the birth of the state, fearing MIM's, uh, MIM's lost support will actually uh, hit him 12%. So we understand his politics. And now the facts cannot be perceptive. Facts cannot be looked from different prisms. Fact is a fact. The fact is a foreign ruler, a foreign oppressor called Mr. Nizam for eight generations has oppressed the Telangana state in you know erstwhile Hyderabad state. And then he was removed from his chair by a military action of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. What do you call it? Do you call it integration? Then what do you call the 562 princely states which have come in voluntarily and annexed to Indian Union? What do we call that? That is integration. But liberation is when you, when you, when you cow down uh, a fascist leader, uh, when you cow down a leader who has been an oppressor with a military action, and build that annexation forcefully. And that is called liberation. We were liberated from Nizam in 1948, September 17th. When today Union Home Minister Amit Shahji said what he said, he said, why are you fearing? What is the fear? What is the insecurity? Because the Indian Muslims, I don't think, will feel bad about a foreign oppressor ruler being cowed down by the military of India. It is just as equal as the British who had, who had to flee by the end of uh, uh, 1947, August 15th. They had to leave India. So do we call that Independence Day or do we call that Integration Day? We call Indian Independence Day because we achieved independence. And September 17th is Telangana's, the Hyderabad state's Independence Day. Okay, Mr. Reddy, is there an attempt to whitewash the tyranny of the Nizam and the Razatars that he created and banked on? People responsible for the bloodshed? Look, See, in fact, no, today Amit Shah no also Telangana. said, if it was not no, for Let, let Mr. Reddy Patel. come in. Mr. Krishna yeah. Sardar Rao, no, let Mr. Reddy come in on this. It's a direct no question to you, Mr. Reddy. No Telanganaite or no citizen of <coughs> Telangana never supported, neither support, rather neither justify the atrocities of the Radhakars. Then Radha we must call that then... out, sir. Well, if that's Hello? the case, we must call that's it what out. What are saying? See, BJP... Here, if people of Telangana would have believed BJP's fight in this issue, if they would have believed... Sir, you said, know, you can take on the BJP, call them what you want to, but spare a thought for our braves. Braves who took part in Operation Polo. We must all come together, unite and salute all of them. It is because of their efforts. Today. What we have done today. What we have done today. Exactly. Yes. We must all That's rise above right. politics. Unfortunately, we've run out of See, time on this show, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Krishna Sagar Rao. I thank you. I thank both of you for joining us on Times Now. With that, we are taking a short break. Lots more lined up on the other side. Please stay with us.